What's going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to the video. It is gonna be a very important one because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the coronavirus. Now I am not an expert on that subject and no one on social media really is. So don't listen uh, to people telling you what to do on social media. I'm not gonna give like my take on it. Instead, listen to the World Health Organization. That's the one. And just the news in your country because every country has different rules. Uh, but some countries actually have closed down like all the gyms. Right, so how are you gonna maintain your gains? Not the most important thing right now at the moment, but it is definitely something a lot of people are worrying about. But at the same time, taking care of your health is actually one of the priorities at the moment. And that also includes being in a good physical shape. What did you say yesterday, Dad? You said something like, Corona spreads like a virus, but fitness should also spread like a virus? Yes, it's, it's a virus. <laughs> it, it, it is a virus, all right? He sees my lifestyle, he's like, what the hell's going on? This is an actual virus. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to infect people with this video to get into fitness, getting in shape, and also to spread positivity. So also the positivity virus as well. So um, yeah, today we're gonna do a home workout because the gyms are, for some people, the gyms are closed, not for everybody, but for a lot of people, and perhaps they will in the next few days or weeks or, like we have no idea what is gonna happen, right? Now I know there are a lot of home workouts on YouTube and on Instagram, but a lot of them don't really focus on maintaining your muscle mass. So a lot of them are like hit cardio workouts and I can do that too. But right now I think it's most important and the question I've been getting is, Marijn, how do I maintain my gains without a gym? All right, so that's what I'm gonna show you today. So let's get it started. Exercise number one is, is a deadlift. <laughs> it's like a sumo deadlift. Ugh. To make some room for the workout. So one really good way to train at home to maintain muscle mass and to have you know a lot of resistance is resistance bands. Um, but I actually asked someone on Instagram because he was shooting me a message like, yo, Marijn, what should I do? I think he was from Czech. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but he was saying that he couldn't even buy resistance bands. He couldn't order anything. Like all the shops are closed. Only grocery stores are open, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a workout. Like if it really comes down to it, this is it. And then uh, we're gonna use equipment that you have at home, right? So I just went to the grocery store and I bought some water bottles. This is what we're gonna be using as weights. And I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this and make this challenging. So this is gonna be a full body home workout. Now that means we're gonna be targeting all the muscles, starting with the legs first. You always wanna get those out of the way, but we don't skip a leg day over here on my channel, all right? So you're gonna to have to do these movements as well. And they're gonna be very challenging, all right? You can make it more challenging by like holding more weight. I'm starting off here with just like some body weight uh, movements, the first movements that we're gonna do. Um, also to get my balance in check and I'm actually gonna insert clips of me here kind of failing with finding my balance as well so you guys can see that even me like I've been lifting for over 10 years and I still have struggles with certain exercises as well because I don't often do these particular exercises so things are slightly different you know but um, it is what it is guys gotta accept the situation and move around you know the things that are happening right now first exercise the Bulgarian split squat, first of all, and that is because this is a very challenging exercise. You're using one leg at a time, because what we're really trying to do here during this, you know, a full body home workout is really increase the tension that we put on our muscles. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people think that going to the gym is all about how much weight you put on the bench, how much weight you have on the bar. And that is really not what it's about when it comes to aesthetics. And maybe you're just training to feel good and to be healthy. And in that case, that definitely doesn't matter. All right, so um, you definitely have to leave your ego at home, literally. So we can just, you know, well, that means we're gonna run into it because we are inside our home. Can someone explain to me how that works? Ah. Fuck it, so, all right, leave your ego, not at home, but um, in, in like the freaking basement, all right? Leave your ego in the basement, uh, unless you're gonna train in your basement. Leave it in the basement, leave it in the attic, leave it on the bathroom, wherever you are, all these people are buying toilet paper, you know, throw your ego, like roll up your ego, make it into a mummy with all the toilet paper that you bought and um, roll your ego in it, and then you're done, all right? Then we can get the workout started. Now when you do the first superset, you have to keep in mind that first you do one leg. So for example, you do the right leg first 
on a Bulgarian split squat. And then you directly go into the stiff legged deadlift with your right leg before you move on to the left leg on Bulgarian split squat again. Makes sense, right? So for legs, we only do those two exercises, one for the quads and one for the hamstrings. And now we're gonna move on to chest and back. We're gonna superset those as well. So first we're gonna do push-ups. Uh, we do a side push-up first. So you go to the right side, you do a push-up, then you do one straight. Then you do one on the left side, you come back, you do one straight again, and you repeat that process, right? So you do that for, you know, as many reps as you possibly can, and then stay away one or two reps away from failure. Unlike the last set there, you want to take it to complete failure, all right? We're going to do a superset here as well. So, you know, directly after you do your set, you're going to go and grab water bottles uh, because this exercise cannot really be done without a weight. So we're going to do a standing one arm row, really squeezing it and holding it at the top before you come back down. Going to do one more superset for chest and back, and that is the decline push up. So you're just going to put your feet on a bench. That is really the only thing that changes. And then you're in a decline position and you do every single set pause. So you pause it at the bottom for about a second and then you explode back up. But on the last set, when it gets really heavy, you're going to go down. Keep the tension on the chest, so don't lose that tension, right? Go all the way down up until that push-up position and then hold the weight there. And while you do that, really squeeze your chest and imagine yourself pushing in with your hands through the floor. And then you can really feel that chest burn like crazy, all right? Because you're holding the weight there. And then once you did that for, you know, you try to really hold it for as long as you can and then you either fall down or you do one last rep. Supersetting the decline push-up with the king of back exercises. So if you can find a spot to do pull-ups in your place, in your house, or maybe get a pull-up bar, I'm doing it here outside. You know, you gotta be creative, man. You gotta try and uh, work with what you have. So doing pull-ups here, my hands were hurting like crazy, but I was making gains, man. I was making it happen. Now, I don't want you guys to get injured or do something stupid, all right? So that's definitely not what I'm saying, uh, but you definitely have to be resourceful when it comes to this, all right? So try to find a place where you can do pull-ups because that really is the king of bag exercises. And if you can't keep doing pull-ups, you're definitely not gonna lose a bunch of size, all right? And there he is, popping up. Yes, hello. Now that we have chest and back out of the way, we're gonna do shoulders. For shoulders, we're not really doing a compound lift. I could do this in a more advanced routine if you guys want me to do that. Uh, but for now, we're gonna stick to the basics. So we're gonna do a massive superset here. First, you're gonna superset lateral raises with front raises. So either grab a water bottle or you can grab again like the big, like a big bigger water tank, for example, depending on how strong you are because this exercise gets pretty heavy if you're gonna do a lot of reps. All right, so you're gonna do the side raise first, then directly the front raise and repeat that process over and over again. And then once it gets really, really heavy, you're gonna hold it for as long as you possibly can. Then come down, do that on the lateral raise, and then you do the same thing on the front raise. And then directly you hop onto like the next part of the superset, which is gonna be the rear delt flies. Um, so this is one massive superset. Uh, the burn is insane and you don't need a crazy amount of weight. All right, and that is the whole purpose because I know you guys don't all have weights at home. Hell, I don't even have weights at home, right? Because I'm just used to going to the gym. Didn't expect any of this. So, you know, we can still make it happen. Just do a lot of reps and superset everything so that it, the tension becomes more as well. So there are many different ways, guys, that we can still make gains. No worries. For the last exercise, I want you to grab a chair if possible. Most of you should have a chair at home. Um, if not, you can do it standing as well. The reason I prefer the chair is because it makes the movement a little bit harder, takes away all the momentum, all right? So you have very strict form and that just makes it a bit harder than when you're standing. Uh, so when you're standing, the exercise can be a little bit easier and we wanna make things as difficult as possible because then we also need less resistance. So that makes it easier for ourselves with the resources that we have, right? So what we're gonna do here is a seated, you know, standard dumbbell curl, uh, but our back is gonna be against the pad, against the chair. And then we're also gonna superset that directly with the overhead extension, overhead water extension, I wanna call it, right? That's the exercise. The overhead water extension and the water curl. That's what we're doing here, right? Building those guns. And then we have arms finished and the workout is done. 
I think that it is actually a good idea to like, if this is your first week not being able to go to the gym, to actually leave this workout for what it is. Don't do it yet and take one week rest because, uh, you know, make like a negative situation into a positive situation. Most people never take a week rest, even though we probably should. So that's kind of like the first thing you should do because right, right now is a good time to take a week rest from the gym. And then afterwards uh, you can start, you know, the at-home workouts. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comments down below. I can do them, as I said, with resistance bands as well. Maybe with weights, you know, there are a lot of different things that I can do. I can, you know, do like a full push workout instead of a full body workout. But this is the one you can start with and you can do this, let's say five days a week. You still want to get some rest. So as you see, got the sweat on, but the purpose of this workout is not to burn as many calories as possible. There are other ways of doing that. Uh, but the purpose really is to maintain muscle mass, you know, and I'm not going to lie, guys, if you are a power lifter, and you know, like I'm, I'm gonna say stay positive and this coronavirus is not gonna affect you if you like, if you don't have access to a gym and you can keep your gains at home, you'll still bench 200 kilos afterwards. No, you are probably gonna be affected, but uh, stay as positive as possible. Try and you know, do as much as you possibly can because at the end of the day, we're all in this together and there's no one that can, you know, like it's no one's fault necessarily like in that sort of way. So we all just gotta, you know, stick together and make the best out of it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, with that said, Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Now guys, if you don't give this video a thumbs up for me, <laughs> do it for my dad, who's getting all the angles. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon. Peace out. Popping up. Yes, hello. This complication spin my mind, but I know I gotta keep pushing through. Yeah, I keep doing my own thing. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking back.